guys welcome to another amazing edition of the program weekly digest from the table of happy family counseling foundation as you know my name is tolu walade ari genua and it's so nice to have you guys join us on the first edition of the program in the year 2023 it's so nice to have you guys on this episode of the program you're welcome you're welcome you're welcome and today as you know it is love season Oshie. i'm still looking for vow <laughs> All right, that's just by the way. As you know, we are in the Valentine season, and and today's edition of the program is tag Valentine special. Today we'll be looking at some of the common errors in dating and courtship. So do stay tuned as we join our dear father in our studio. We will be taking us through the topic of today. Stay tuned and don't go anywhere. I will be right back. I welcome you all to this Valentine special message. To all the fans of Happy Family Counseling Foundation. It's been a while. We have not walked away. We are only busy with some other things. But this time, we did it fit to come up with something at this Valentine season for all of us, for all husbands and wives. And I believe strongly that the message to, of today will surely bless your relationship. The main focus of our discussion today is to look at some errors that people usually fall into when it comes to dating and courtship. First of all, we want to try and clarify what dating and courtship is all about because it is easy to mix the two together or to not even know where one starts and the other one stops. Dating is a process through which persons try to get close with one another with the aim of evaluating each other's intention, target, objective, goals, or aim in the other person's life. Either you like it or not, anybody that comes close to you have an objective that the person wants to achieve. You may not know at the initial stage, and the other person may not even know at the initial stage. But time we clear, I mean we clarify what the aims and objectives may be. What do I mean? You notice that somebody is trying to get close to you by wanting to be around you, spending time with you or enjoys being with you either consciously or unconsciously there is always a reason behind that there is a reason why the person is very comfortable with you that particular act of trying to get attached is called dating that is setting time apart to be with you is dating either you both agreed to spend the time together or without a conscious agreement it is still dating. At this period of attachment, what usually happens is evaluation to see the possibility of, uh, of carrying out the conceived intention to know if the aim will actually work out or not. People may date for different reasons. People may date for business, that is what we call business dating. It could be a friendship dating because some people are just good at being friends. Nothing more than that. It could also be academic dating. If you have an academic uh, achievement that you, you want to invite from the other person, you may set dates or set time to be with such a person. It can also be a religious attachment. It can also be a romantic and marital dating but whatever brings you together and makes you comfortable to spend time together is dating dating generally is an incubating period that is expected to either give back to the original intention or end up in abortion of intention so we should be very clear about that that is why you will notice that some people may get attached at a particular time, but when they notice that the intention is not clear or they are not getting along, 
they may abort such a relationship. What then is courtship? Courtship happens when two people have been able to clearly identify their conceived intention of closeness. That is, when they have been able to identify what brought about their mutual feelings of getting attached. At this stage, the two people have a clear intention of getting married, if it is marital relationship, and agreed on knowing themselves more and better with a focus on possibility of becoming husband and wife. That is, at this period, clear intention had been made known. Somebody had been able to say, well, this is my feelings towards you, and the other person has been able to respond that, well, let's give it a trial. At that moment, courtship is established. It is a period characterized by impressive behaviors. What do I mean? That is, the two of them try to impress one another, at least to show that they are committed to such relationship. The woman involved tries to show that she is 1,000 yards of wife material. And the man also tries to prove that he is responsible, at least to be a husband. Let me quickly add that it is just normal for people to try to impress at that period. And that is the reason why at that period it becomes a little bit difficult to now clearly define or identify love. However, for people that are not carried away, it is easy to realize or to discover whether what they share is love or infatuation. And that is the one of the most sensitive areas of relationship in dating. And let me say that dating continues even after courtship had been established. That is, after a clear intention had been made known and had been accepted between the two people involved. Now to the main focus of this video. What are the errors that young people usually uh, engage in when they are trying to date, especially when courtship had been established. The first one I am going to mention is this wrong association. Human is easily influenced with the kind of association they keep. No wonder the Bible says, do not be yoked together with unbelievers, for what do righteousness and wickedness have in common? Biblical Samson is a good example of a person in wrong association. He was always fond of associating himself with people that are unbelievers. And no wonder it ended up in the hand of Delilah. So wherever or with, with whichever kind of association you keep have a way of influencing your choice when it comes to making final choice in marriage. Number two is overlooking the red flags. What do I mean by the red flags? Red flags are the pointers to bad characters that may be in somebody. For example, a person that we end up being a bully in a relationship will have showed some symptoms that you can easily capture when you are dating such a person. But if you overlook it, maybe you are carried away with dreams or pets or money that such an individual is giving to you, the rest are sure that those pointers will eventually grow up to be something in the future. So when you are dating, do not fall into error of overlooking those red flags. And I want to say specifically that sometimes you will see friends and family that are around you and they will warn you that, don't you notice this bad character about this person? Don't you notice that thing about this person? When you are found of making excuses, instead of facing reality, you may be committing a big error 
in your dating relationship. And number three, being carried away with love or love feelings. Sometimes when you are engaged in infatuation, most of the time, it is difficult for you to, to face or see reality in such relationship. Love feelings may be deceptive if not carefully looked into and clarified. And another issue is the issue of money. When you are carried away with money, you may be trending on a danger zone. You have to be careful. These days, a lot of people, especially ladies, all they care about is money and wealth. Yes, it is good to have money. But don't forget, you cannot buy everything. There are certain things money cannot buy. You can buy a big bed, a good bed, but you, can, you cannot possibly buy a sleep. You can buy a house, but nobody buys a home. You must build a home in your relationship. You can even buy a good car, but you cannot buy a smooth ride. So be careful when you think everything about relationship is money. Don't be deceived. Be careful. Number four is pretending to be who you are not really is. Because with time, the truth will come out. And when the truth eventually come out, and your partner discover that you are not the person you claim to be, there will be a problem. So it is good for you to be plain and to present yourself to be who you are. Be original. Do not pretend. If you pretend in a relationship, you are falling into hell. Don't pretend for somebody to like you. If that person did not like you, another person may like you. So you have to wait for the best person that will like you for who you are. And that does not mean you cannot make adjustments where are necessary. But do not pretend in relationship. And number five, is failure to discuss what is most important when you are dating. A lot of people, they believe that dating is all about going to cinema, going to beach, having fun. Wow, it is fantastic to have fun. But it is also a time for you to discuss things that are very important. Three things that are crucial to your future. And those are the things that will make you to have a, a relationship that are future. If you don't discuss those important things, such like what are your dreams? What are your goals in life? What are your plans? Where do you want to set to? How many children do you intend in having? How are you going to manage your finances? To know all these things. Discuss about your family. Discuss about your background. Discuss about your weaknesses. When you don't discuss these things that are very important, you may be committing a very big error that you may not be able to correct in the long run. And number six, setting unrealistic expectations in relationship while dating. You should be clear about what you want your future to be. When you set unrealistic goal or you are expecting too much from your partner, eventually, if you cannot meet those expectations, don't forget I said it earlier, that at dating period, people try to impress. When you bring up on realistic goals, you may be committing a big error because the other person will not want to fall his or her hand as well. He will also want to try to uh, present him or herself as somebody who is reliable. But caution yourself. Do not set or realistic goals. Otherwise, they may lead you to be heartbroken because when those things cannot be realistic or cannot be realized, then you will not be happy in your relationship. And number seven, not focusing on repeated offenses. There are certain things you cannot just continue to overlook again and again. It slaps you when you are still dating the first time, the second time, and you think you are making sense by continuing in that relationship, 
you are making a big error. If he can do it once, he will do it twice. And the same thing goes to the other side. Because we also have ladies that are bullying their men, even though they cannot say it outside. It is happening. So, do not lose your focus on repeated offenses. Somebody has done something, something wrong the first time, the second time, and the third time, and you are still dating. That is the time you should take on your heels and run fast before you eventually find yourself in a situation that you will not be able to help. Remember, a lot of people have died not realizing their future goal because they gave themselves up easily and cheaply because of whatever material things. They did not focus on repeated offenses. Then number eight, sacrificing what matters to you just because you want to get married. We have seen a lot of people, they will sacrifice what matters to you, to them. What I'm saying is that there are certain things you know are crucial to your future. They are crucial to your dream. Don't sacrifice such things just because you want to get yourself hooked up with that man or with that woman by force. You may later regret it. So be careful what you cannot take as a poor man or as a rich man rather. Begin to reject it even as a poor man. Make your intention, make your goals, make your objectives in life very clear. Things you cannot take, say it out when you are courting, not when you are married. A lot of people pretend as if they can endure all things. And that is why you may continue to endure for the rest of your relationship if care is not taken. Dating, I want to say, is a great opportunity. I call it opportunity to build a relationship. This is a Valentine period. A lot of people will propose. A lot of people will put themselves in bondage. They will not be able to help in the future. Be careful. Date. Set time. Give it time. Study yourselves. Be sure of the kind of relationship you are entering into. Do not be deceived. Money is not everything. Big car is not everything. Know exactly what you are doing and be responsible for your decision because it is you, I mean you, that will carry the body if care is not taken. So, use the opportunity when you still have it so that you will not regret it later. And finally, uh, a piece of advice for the married individual. I congratulate you at this Valentine's season and I wish you wonderful relationship. But let me ask you, perhaps you have uh, thought of giving a special gift to your spouse at this time. Maybe you have thought of a good perfume, wristwatch, or whatever good material that will make the other person happy. I want to recommend for you some other gifts that is not even material gift that you can give to your partner at this time. Number one, give him or her peace of mind. When your spouse is happy with you at all times, when your spouse is peaceful, you will progress. And another thing, create time for good communication. When there is good communication, there will be a better understanding. When you understand yourselves better, then you can flow together with joy and happiness. So, at this season, once again, happy Family Counseling Foundation wish you happy Valentine. God bless you. We love you. All right, guys. And with that, you have come to the end of today's episode of the program weekly digest from table of happy family counseling foundation don't forget to like our video subscribe share comment and ask your questions we will be more than glad to give answers to every question you ask us so till i come your way again another time i am toluwala day ari genua saying do have a wonderful valentine and don't forget to send me a bar gift bye ciao ciao